Hello guys, this is Puerto Rican and I finally got something done for my trusty Glock 19. I got a steeple jug from Battle Ready Arms. I'm pretty sure you are familiar with Tactical Toolbox. They make all this Glock modification and that's the main reason why he's known for. But he says something along the line that you don't know that you need a triple job until you get one. And I have to say, I agree 100% with that statement because a triple job can change your experience with shooting with your favorite gun. And you don't know how better it is to shoot a gun with a triple job than a stock or OEM grip but I have to say some gun has some really good texture though. but I also have to say you need to do your research because there are some companies out there that do some shitty job when stippling your gun and you want to avoid those companies find a company that has good reputation look at the picture look at the reviews and make sure you're gonna like that staple job and if you get some good staple job you're gonna get two benefits out of it. The first benefit is that you can get aesthetic enhancement. This means that the gun is gonna look really, really good. It's gonna look really tactical when you get that steep of job. And the second benefit is that you will get some grip enhancement. And this means that you're gonna have a little extra grip that will help you to grip your gun, handle that gun when shooting at the range on a real life situation. And that's why a lot of people use talon grips because they have that extra grip without modifying the stock frame but the talon grips don't look nearly close as good as some good staple job and if you're lucky and you get both of these enhancements you will have a really good looking goal really tactical but at the same time enhancing your grip and it cannot get better than that i got a staple job by battle ready arms i'm gonna leave a link in the description below i have to tell you i want to send every single frame i own to them so they can do a good staple job because i love of how they look and how they feel. Now I'm just gonna go down to what was done to my frame. First thing you're gonna notice is the staple yo. You're gonna notice the texture is a little bit different from a stock glock i hope you can see it right there if not i'm gonna throw some b-roll down here and this staple job is called dragon skin and i think it's one of the most famous or more popular staple jobs by battle ready arms and i have to say i like it i like it because it hates my grip and i like it because it looks really good and i think this is an excellent choice for concealed carry because it's a staple job that will increase the ability to grip your gun but at the same time it's not crazy aggressive where it can rip off the skin that you have have on your hand or it can scratch you when concealed carrying this pistol. They also have a lava rock texture that looks really cool but it is not too rough. And they have the guardian texture that will enhance your grip a little bit more and they have this unique look to it. The second thing that was done to my Glock 19 in terms of the frame were some recessed borders and these borders are flush with the frame meaning there's nothing coming out of the frame or coming inside inside the frame making it perfect for concealed carry and it still look very good. The other type of borders that you can get is the HD borders and this border will create a channel right outside or the stick plane giving it like a separation or depth to the frame where it's gonna look I think a little bit better in my opinion and I will not mind getting those I think when I send other frames to battle ready arms I will send some for the HD borders because they look really really good the third thing that was done to my frame was the flat thumb index point when you grip your pistol your thumb always land right here and you got this grip right here so what this is gonna do is gonna create some texture right here where you're gonna be able to put your thumb push a little bit so you don't jerk your gun a lot and then you can like press down a little so you can control that recoil as well another modification that was done to this pistol was the finger groove removal there's a lot of people that have different thoughts about this but the 
Glock Generation 3 and 4 has some finger grooves like this one right here and some people cannot fit this finger groove as well so they tend to send it for removal they don't bother me as much but i went ahead and remove it just because and i think they got look really good and i don't have those finger grooves just in case my hands get fatter or i don't know what can happen but it feels good when i grab it and once they did that they left like a magazine well at the bottom that i think is a nice addition because i can really lever my hand right there and it's it's really comfortable i i think it helped me when i grip my gun because my pinky fall right into that ramp and it's like a mini integrated magazine well and the last modification that you can see in my friend and my favorite is the magazine release scallop If you get any Glock of generation 1, 2, 3, you will notice that it's a little bit harder to reach that magazine release because it's really skinny, it's really flush with the frame so it's not getting stuck on anything and it is a little bit harder to do your reloads. Right here this is a Glock 17 generation 3 and you see how small is that magazine release and how flush it is. So what this modification does, it takes some material off around the magazine release, giving you more room to reach that magazine release and be able to release that magazine. If you're doing some fast reloads or you doing reloads at all, this is gonna help you a lot. It's gonna speed up your process and it's gonna avoid you to break your grip when doing those magazine reloads. And a lot of people nowadays like to do those reloads to post it on Instagram on their YouTube videos. And this is definitely going to help you to look really cool when making those videos. They also offer a lot of modifications to your frame that were not done to my frame frame on this Glock 19 but I think they're worth to mention. The first modification that I think is worth mention is the double undercut under the trigger guard and this will create some more space on the undercut of the trigger guard. If you shoot a lot of Glocks and you're a really Glock fan you know that if you shoot a lot you have not a lot of room to like squeeze your hand right here so a lot of people get what they call the Glock knuckle because this part right here is always rubbing against the trigger guard. So what they do they take some material down here so you are able to grip the gun more comfortably having more room to be able to grip the glock a little bit higher without getting that glock knuckle also they call it the double undercut because they take some material up here as well so you're able to set up your support hand a little bit higher and more comfortable they also have a glove bevel and what they do there is they take some material right here so you are able to squeeze your hand or your index finger that you use to put that trigger back with a glove. When you have a glove your hand is essentially bigger and it's a little bit harder to pull that trigger so what this modification do is to give you more room so it's easier for you to pull that trigger back and make that gun go bang. And another modification on the same page it's gonna be a backstrap blend this one will take a factory backstrap and it's pretty much gonna melt it and it's gonna be texture or staple however you want to call it having a beaver tail if that's your choice so you can avoid the pistol to give you some slight bite and you will have a really good looking seamless backstrap that will be really practical and it's gonna be really good looking at the same time and there is nothing better than that another practical update is a comeback cut and what this is gonna just gonna take some material at the bottom of the grip it's gonna add two little openings at the bottom of the frame right here and this is so you can strip your magazine if the magazine gets stuck for any reason on the oldest generation of gloves they add that little cut right here on the front but I think it is really uncomfortable when I grip those new glove pistols I can feel that cut in my pinky and I think it mess with my head a little bit or, or it might mess with my grip I'm not sure but I don't like it if you don't want that cut you can get your Glock 19 generation 5 MOS I believe that they don't do in the cut for those 
glove. But if you want some of these cuts so they're more comfortable and they're really practical, you can get a compact cut by but already aren't gonna be really practical and I think they look really cool. Another piece of that I see with those little cuts is the Six Sour 320 and you can see at the bottom right here of this frame, it got the cuts right there. But the magazine for this 320 have the little material there that will fill up those spaces making it look really flush, really cool, like it's part of the design. But at the same time, very practical so you can strip those magazines real quick. And the last modification that is not on my glove but it's worth to mention is the grip hump reduction. In case you don't know, the gloves have this famous angle on the back that when you aim you need to turn your wrist a little bit forward so you're able to keep those sights on target. So what this hump reduction does is that it takes some material of here at the bottom of the grip and make that angle go away a little bit like many other pistols. So here I got a Glock 19 and the 6 r 320 side by side and you kind of see the angle difference right here but that's what the hump reduction actually does is to reduce that angle that comes with the gloves and make it feel more like the other pistols in the market. This is not a big deal but you need to keep that in mind when you're shooting a lot with your Glock or you just can get a hump reduction with battle ready earned and just forget about it. So for my personal impression I have a couple points. The first one is that when I took this gun to the range I actually felt a really big difference with shooting my new Glock 19. I was a little sweaty, there was some humidity, it was super hot but I felt really comfortable having a really good grip and shooting on my targets without a problem. The texture on this tape plane actually felt really good. I think it's a little bit more aggressive than your standard OEM glove but it felt really good. It will not rip up the skin from my hand or scratch my belly so I like that about it. I also feel since I have some more grippiness I feel more comfortable doing some follow-up shot and some target to target acquisition. Besides feeling really well working perfectly when going at the range I think this steeple job or this framework look really really cool especially that magazine really scallop right there. I think this makes my Glock 19 look more aggressive and a little bit less glocky in this case. Will I recommend this? Hell yes! Hell yes! I will highly recommend you to try a steeple job. It does not matter who do it for you but make sure you do your research and get a good company to do this for you because you don't want to get stuck with you shitty steeple job, you want something good, something that you actually gonna like to shoot. And besides looking really good, I think these modifications are really, really practical. Especially that magazine scallop right there, that's my favorite modification. It's super easy now to do those magazine reloads, get the magazines out of the pistol real quick. If you have a Glock generation 1 through 3. It also helps a lot because I don't have to break my grip as much with trying to hit that magazine release and that's a big deal because it is a little bit faster when doing those magazine reloads. All I'm talking in this video is about the stupid job but that's not all they offer. They also offer some Glock trigger and internet polishing and this will translate to a super smooth trigger pull and it's gonna improve everything about it. They also offer some Cerakote done to your slide or your frame and a quick tip is that if you get your Cerakote done before you send your gun for stippling, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get that color on the entire slide and when they do their stipple job, they're gonna take some material on the texture, making the texture look like the actual color of the frame, giving you a really nice contrast between the frame color and the Cerakote that you have on top. And then you go to the store tab they have some Glock barrels or Glock barrel and slide combinations they also have some Glock slides and these slides look really really sexy and it's not bad at all when you look at the price costing you $369 but you need to keep in mind they're sending you the slide with the work already done to it and the color already added to it and if you put that into consideration that's really cheap what you're getting for your money they also sell some trigger by fact r factor i don't know how you pronounce that but f-a-c-t 
are, I will have a link in the description below because, spoiler alert, I have one of these triggers that I'm gonna be trying out here soon at the range and I'll be making a video about it. I also have a coupon code that is gonna be PR22 that will give you 10% if you get one of these triggers at the website. To complete the build, they will have some sites in their store. There are some Angry Bear Arms or Trigon sites. I don't know everything that they have, but if you want to figure out, you can hit the link on the description below and go check their store and all the services that they offer. I definitely love the work that was done to my trusty Glock 19 on my first build and I would highly recommend you to try them out. Please check out the links in the description below. I also have some links below of the links on the description below that you can use from Amazon. If you use any of those links, it's gonna help my channel by giving me a small percentage without costing you anything else. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. Please subscribe and see you till next time.